Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use parameters in your Azure PlayFab Cloud Scripts. So let's get started by opening up our Cloud Script. Now here's my Hello World function that I created in a previous video. And as you might remember, when you create an HTTP trigger with Visual Studio Code, the template function that's created will have this HTTP request. And it's from this variable that we deserialize the function execution context and we create our API settings, our title context, and our server API. And it's also from this variable that we want to retrieve our function parameters. And so after the line of code that is var server API equals new playfab dot playfab server instance API, we want to add a new line of code. And this is going to be dynamic args equals context dot function arguments. This will save all the parameters into one single variable, so we don't have to call context.function arguments every time we want to access our parameters. Now for my example, in this function where I'm retrieving the title data, let's say we want to add a value to that title data and then return it to the player. Well, inside our if statement, where we're checking to see if the title data contains a certain key, let's add an int.parse around that title data and then let's add args.amount. Now this part where it says amount is actually dependent on the parameter name that you give to the execute function request inside of Unity. And so if you remember back to the last video I created on how to call your cloud scripts from Unity, we passed in a parameter called amount. And so you want the name of your parameter to be the same in your cloud script as what you have inside Unity. It's also important to remember that these parameters are declared as dynamic which means whatever type you pass in to the execute function request is the type that you'll get in this cloud function. And so for this example, I would only want to ever pass in int values, otherwise my cloud script would throw an error. Another important thing to remember with cloud scripts is that you use cloud scripts to enhance the security of your games. In other words, using cloud scripts helps to prevent players from injecting their own values to cheat or benefit themselves in the game. And so if you can directly prevent the player from inserting whatever value they want to the parameter, then your cloud script should be fairly secure. However, the use of parameters in your cloud scripts is different in every situation. In some cases, you'll have to allow the player to set the value of the parameter. In those cases, there's actually a lot that you can do in the cloud script to verify the value of the parameter. For example, if you were setting the player's display name and you wanted to use a cloud script, to make sure that there wasn't any profanity in the player's name, you could have the player type in their display name and when they submit, you'd send that display name to a cloud script. Then inside the cloud script is where you would parse the name to make sure that there wasn't anything inappropriate. And that would make it virtually impossible for the player to bypass that filter, whereas I'm sure there would be a way to bypass it if it were all happening on the player's device. Now that's everything I'm gonna cover in this lesson on how to use parameters in your Azure PlayFab cloud scripts. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.